Oh my God. So two of the scientists on board, there's uh, Professor Mike Meredith, who's the sort of big name in oceanography and climate science. And then Dr. Rhiannon Jones, she's worked in his team. And six years ago, they were down here in the summer months and they stood on the bridge of the Sir David Attenborough looking at the front of a glacier and it carved, which is when it, the ice kind of crumbles and collapses and falls into the sea. But this was a big carving. They looked at a satellite data afterwards and they're somewhere between three and 20 million tonnes of ice fell into the ocean in front of their eyes. And at that time, it made them think, oh my goodness, you could see the waves rippling on the surface, but then you went wondered, I wonder what's happening underneath. And what their theory is, is that you get these underwater tidal waves almost that stir up the ocean. And what they want to do is look into that because it makes a big difference. When you stir the ocean up, you can release more heat and more carbon to the atmosphere. You can also stir up nutrients, which may change what's able to live and grow in the ocean. But what was amazing this time is, again, they were stood on the bridge in exactly the same spot, but in the winter, and would you believe the glacier carved again in front of their eyes? It was a much smaller event, probably thousands of tons of ice rather than millions of tons of ice, but still it's enormous, it's huge. And they didn't expect this sort of thing to happen in the winter. You would expect it to happen in the summer when the ice is melting and things are more in unstable. Oh my God. So the fact it happened during the winter and it happened in front of their eyes, it, it's like it's science happening right there live. It was really unexpected. It really hit home that we're seeing some rapid changes to the region and we don't know what the consequences of that will be.